Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Pandora video. So if you've watched any of my Pandora videos, including my entire collection video, you know that I am a huge um, rose gold fan, <laughs> not just in my Pandora collection, but in my life. It is my color of choice. And back when I started collecting Pandora, um, it didn't exist. It was all silver all the time. And I mean, I started collecting charms when I was a little, little girl. My mom bought me my first charm bracelet when I was 11, I want to say. And of course, that was all silver charms. Um, and then my husband bought me my first Pandora bracelet for our first Christmas when we were married in 2014. And that was all silver charms. Now, as soon as they started putting out Pandora Rose, I started buying Pandora Rose. And so on my very first bracelet, I have one, two, three Pandora Rose pieces. Um, and these are the old formula. So the question whenever I put out any Pandora videos is always, how does the Pandora Rose hold up? Does it stand the test of time? How does it clean? Yada, yada, yada. And so it's, it's not a super straightforward answer, but there are a few different components to it. The pieces I originally bought, the original formula Pandora Rose pieces from 2014 are, they're all plated, but they are, they are very unplated now. <laughs> I wear my pieces, I do clean them, but I mean, I must have worn this bracelet after my husband gave it to me for Christmas every day for two, three years. It was the only bracelet I had. It took me two or three years to fill it, getting one charm for Christmas or one for my birthday or one for an anniversary. Um, and it took a long time to fill up because at that phase in our life, that's what we could afford. And I love it. But those pieces from that time frame, the plating on those original formula Pandora Rose pieces just wasn't up to par. Um, I still love them, but they are, I'm going to show you, they are quite dinged up now. You can see the silver coming through the plating. Um, then my next piece that I got was an open bangle. And some of the charms on here are newer formula, but the old plating on this open bangle also is getting beat up. The newer formula pieces, I started buying those, of course, as soon as they were available, they seem to be just fine. I'm not getting problems with them. I've had, um, had some of those pieces. This was my first Pandora Rose of the new formula bracelet and the clasp on this one with the Pandora Rose is just fine. So I will give you a look at every single Pandora piece I own that is the Pandora Rose. But I would say if you are looking to purchase Pandora Rose in 2023 now, um, the newer formula pieces, I'm not having any issues with. The plating does not come off. They clean just fine. I don't store them any differently from the rest of my collection, except I do keep the little um, black squares that come in the bags that are supposed to help with rose uh, pieces. I do put those one near each and every one of my Pandora Rose charms or bracelets. Do they help? I don't know, but it doesn't hurt. So short of that, I don't do anything different. I don't necessarily clean them any different. I am of the mindset that while I do love all my pieces, if I have to give any of them super special attention, I know that's not something I'm going to do. All of my pieces need to be wearable and they need to be cleanable because I, I'm just not an easy person on my jewelry. I wear it every day. This is not special occasion jewelry for me. This is all the time jewelry. So I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys in closer and we are going to go over each and every charm that I've ever purchased in the Pandora Rose collection. Um, and I will, I will try to tell you like roughly how old those pieces are. I don't have you know, the original, I do have, I have all my original receipts. I'm not going to go get, dig them out, but I can tell you like this piece is almost 10 years old or this piece is from two months ago. So 
that you can tell the difference. I will also try to the best of my ability um, and sanity level to put all of the names of the charms up on the screen. So that way you know when you are looking at a piece to know is it a new piece from a Pandora store? It's probably fine. If you are purchasing like from Facebook Marketplace or eBay or Etsy, first of all, there's issues with some of that, but if you're going to do it and it is an older Pandora Rose piece, it probably has that older Pandora Rose plating and you need to know what that means for the wear and tear of those charms and if it's something you can live with or not because everyone has different ideas. So let's go ahead and get started, and I hope this helps you in some way. All right, y'all. So first things first, let's look at my very first Pandora bracelet. So on this bracelet, I have three Pandora pieces. The very first one is right here in the middle. It is these little interlinking hearts. And let's see, right here where the two hearts meet, can you see that? Especially this bottom heart, almost all of the plating is gone. So we were married in 2014 in May and this was purchased the next Christmas. Um, so it is almost 10 years old, but the, the front heart with all the CZs, it is mainly fine. And then the side of the piece, mainly where it rubs against all the other pieces, it has lost its plating. But the front of the barrel, it is fine. Camera does not want to focus to show y'all really well. The next pieces that I purchased at the same time, and this was in 2017, was this heart and this I right, love you charm. So the heart here says best friend. It has a little CZ on it. And you can see that, especially on the front, the plating is perfect and on the back. Now, if we look on the side there are dings but not not nearly as many like the not like on the interlocking hearts where there are entire sections of plating missing there are just little scratches on the side of this one so still not the best but not nearly the worst now this piece is the first two-tone piece i have and there we go, that's better. You can see that while the plating on the main ring is okay, look at this ring. It is almost all gone where those little I love you um, barrels slide back and forth. The same on the big heart here. The surface is almost all rose gold still. but the ring, the plating is almost all gone. So even on these pieces, these are still the old formula. They are a better version of the old formula, but they are still the old formula. And at this time, they were making very few rose gold pieces. I will tell you something, I don't even like this charm. This is the one charm in my collection that I just don't even really like but I wanted a third rose gold piece for this bracelet. It was one of the last charms I got. It was for a very hard time in my life, and I liked the sentiment of it, even though I don't love how it's designed. So I do keep it, even though I've thought about replacing it. And since mainly just the ring is worn, the other pieces are not it still, for the most part, looks fine. I specifically did this video when it was supposed to be great natural lighting so that we didn't have shadow problems and the sun is failing me. 
I'm gonna give you a better look at the first two since we're zoomed in better now. You can see how the bail there is fine. The front of the heart is fine. And here's the back. So here's where you can really see that plating coming off the large heart right there. And then on the small heart, see that? That's almost entirely silver. And again, these are just places where the hearts rub together. This little guy, since he's one big chunky, chunky boy, looks fine. And you just have those little scrapes on the side. So that is the first bracelet. Now this one has, like I said, very few rose gold pieces. So then let's go ahead and we'll do this one first. I, I purchased this open bangle and a two-tone snake bracelet about the same time. So they are both about 2017. Um, you can tell that this bracelet, look at the end caps, if I can get them to focus. This is where you can see the most wear and tear. Do you see all those little silver spots coming through with the plating coming off? This is when I, when I bought this bracelet and this started happening was when I was like, well, maybe I won't buy Pandora Rose for a while because that's frustrating. So at the time I had purchased this charm right here and you can see that on the front of this guy, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. He's fine, but if I flip him over, the back where he hits my wrist is starting to lose plating up top here. And he is probably the oldest um, charm on this bracelet. The pink ladybug in the middle has very little rose, so she's fine. Even the back where it hits my wrist is fine. This is a newer charm than the other one. And then at the same time, I also purchased this ladybug. All three were around the same time. They were doing a lot of ladybugs. And this is my ladybug bracelet. Ladybugs have a really big sentimental meaning for me. This one with all the CZs is fine. I don't have any problems with this, this particular bead. So then I added the spacers and these... Um, floral and pink charms and they are all fine. They are newer. I purchased those maybe in more like 2019 ish and they are the new formula and even all these little details um, on the pink beads are, are not having any plating issues. So it was when I picked these up on a clearance sale and they didn't have any issues that I was like, okay, the new formula is way better than the old formula and I can start to purchase Pandora Rose again. Much as I love the rose, I don't love when it starts to get chipped up in things and it's less of a problem for me, still don't like it, but when it's, you know, in between the charms, but especially on like this part, that is one of the most visible areas that I'm not a fan of. So, all right, let's open the jewelry box. So at the same time, I purchased that two-tone bracelet. So this was my second ever snake charm bracelet. And you can see it has quite a, quite a bit more Pandora Rose than the first bracelet. I really wanted an all rose bracelet, but that just, there's just still not quite enough pieces for that at this point, um, at least at this point in my collection when I purchased this bracelet. I wanted an all Pandora Rose snake bracelet, but obviously that would have not worked well. It would have just come off. So everything on this bracelet 
Um, I don't think anything on here is really chipping with the exception of perhaps, I think the clips, yeah, the clips are. The clips were one of the first things I purchased for this bracelet back in 2017. So let's just start at the end. We have the Arcs of Love clips. I have two of these on this bracelet with the pink CZs. These I love, and you can see there's not even any chips or plating issues at all with these. They are so pretty. Then I have my little bow. I love this charm, but it drives me nuts because it is one of very few charms with this low of a profile. It's a dangle, but it's not a long dangle, and it's wide, and... I, I really like balance, so I balanced it against the acorn, which isn't perfect, but close enough for government work. I've had this one quite a while. It was in my very first Rula Law haul, and it has no issues at all on the actual bow. I do believe the plating on the bale is coming off. Um, but the bill is so tiny, I would be shocked if it wasn't. And again, this was around 2017. Next one are the clips. So I bought these shortly after I purchased the bracelet in 2017. And this clip, you guys are probably killing me right now because for some reason I cannot stay in the middle of the camera. This clip has fared much better then this clip, see all that plating on top coming off, even though they were purchased as a pair at the same exact time. I must hit this one more. So. Then I have spacers. These are the wildflower spacers. Look how pretty those are. They have pink CZs all the way around and I just, I love Spacers, I don't know why they're not making as many these days. They add so much sparkle to a bracelet without having to add a whole big charm. So these, even with the sides, um, you can see here where the plating is starting to come off in the center of the petals. But for the most part, they have fared very well, I think because they're flat and not super raised on the sides. And my centerpiece, which is the family charm. Dun, da, da, da. The plating on this one, even on the sides, is fine. This one was one of the last pieces I got for this bracelet, more along the 2020 um, years. And I is, you can kind of tell the difference between the old rows and the new rolls and how shiny it is. So do you see how this is shiny and metallic? Whoop, fish came off. And then like the the rose on the clips is more of a matte muted rose gold. The new formula versus the old formula is just it's a bit shinier, it's a bit brighter and it does not chip nearly as much. Go figure. Whatever they did to change that formula has also had a difference on the appearance. You can see it again with the acorn. See how shiny the acorn is? Even with that tiny little bale, it's not coming off at all. And it seems like anywhere there's CZs on the rows, the CZs stick out more than the rose does. And therefore, I think it just comes off less. It's not being hit as often. Oh, well, there we go. That is the first three pieces in my collection. Um, my two-tone bracelet, my first silver bracelet, and my open bangle. Don't worry, I have plenty more rows in here. But those are the first three. Everything else is... 2020 onwards. So next I picked up this bracelet. It is the heart with the pave stones on it, the CZs. And you can see 
that it is perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. And on here, this is still unfinished. I still even need another clip. I have the freeform heart clips on here. I just got one in a recent haul. Love it so much. And then I have, um, this is what, 2020 or 2021, the Christmas ornament that came with this little charm. No problems here. Then I have the cute little bunny with the pink enamel ears. Last year, 2022's club charm, which is the ladybird. I love this charm. Another ladybug. Apparently that is the difference between how Americans say ladybug and people in Britain say ladybird. Or maybe it's all of Europe, but I know specifically um, British people do say ladybird. I love those spacers. And then my carriage. So I do have the original Cinderella's carriage on my original bracelet. My husband saved up for a while to buy it for me for Christmas. And the original is very special. It was actually the very last present my husband ever gave me. So... I cherish it. I cherish all of the things he gave me, but especially that one. So as soon as this came out in the rose gold, I had to get it for this bracelet. It is the only charm that I have a duplicate of that is not a pair of something like on the same bracelet. And you can see it is perfect. Not a single plating issue, even on the sides. So they finally have sorted out the plating issue with the newer pieces because this has so many <laughs> nicks and pieces and buds. If it was going to have plating issues, this one would have it. Another ladybug. This one, just a little ladybug on this clover. I love it. Any ladybug piece that Pandora comes out with, I am going to buy because I just love like I said, those ladybugs are, are special. Then we have, I believe this is one of the magnolia pieces. And it is, I didn't even know I wanted this until I saw it in the store. I liked it, of course. I like all pieces. <laughs> That's the problem. But as soon as I saw it in the store, it was on last chance after last Christmas. And it was like so inexpensive. I was like, oh my God, I have to have that. And now I am so bummed that I only have one. <sighs> one day I'll get another one. And last but not least, the rose gold. Well, technically it's two-tone. It has one silver feather. Uh, dream catcher. And again, that new formula is shiny and perfect in every way. Love it. So obviously this bracelet is a work in progress. I still need another clip. I'm still adding charms to it, but I love how it's coming along. It's very pretty, very elegant. That was the goal. All right, let's see. Next up, we have a few things on a charm bar, which I guess I'll show you. My mom got me these, which are the matte purple. Come on. Murano's. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to put these, which is why they're on a charm bar. It really doesn't want y'all to see them. There we go. So mom picked them up because in certain lightings, they look almost black. So she actually got herself a set and me a set. I think I might add them to one of my fairy garden bracelets that I have a lot of purple on, but I'm just not sure. So they're here for now. They are the new plating, and I think the uh, the matte finish of them is very interesting. They also have these with the pale pink matte Murano's and the blue. And oh my god, I want the pink ones so bad. They have been on my wish list for ever, but they have not gone on sale yet, whereas these did. So 
I will get the pink ones. I will get them eventually. They're going to go on this bracelet, which is why I haven't put the purple ones on here. I don't want four Muranos on it, but I might put the purple ones on here in the meantime. We'll see. We also have the kangaroo. So these were on Rula La. Little kangaroo and the little Australian charm. I'm going to add them to my travel bracelet after next year's trip to Australia. But in the meantime, they are here. I, I prefer to buy my charms in country on the trip, but when you find things on Rula La for a good price, you just, you have to get them. So, little rose gold kangaroo. Last but not least, I have my O-ring. I love this guy and he is naked right now because I took all the charms off. Um, so I do keep these two on here. This is the Murano glass leaf and my little travel charm with the plane, the globe, and the suitcase that I got in Estonia. Now, I typically will put the uh, pink beads, these two pink beads, and these spacers on this O-ring when I am not wearing this bracelet, but that means I cannot wear them together, which I don't love. And for Christmas, my mom actually got me some new spacers for this piece. So these are the Love Pod spacers. Again, we need more spacers, Pandora. And I have not even put them on yet. So let's open them up. Let's put them on. All right, so there are the Love Pod spacers. I was so excited to see these on Rula La. I really wanted them. I kind of wanted like way more than two, but my mom, bless her heart, I know she was trying to surprise me, but she, uh, she accidentally sent me a screenshot where she purchased these two for Christmas. I knew they were for me because she does not do rose gold. She only does regular gold or silver, and she does not like silver. She really only wants gold. So I knew she got these because I told her how much I wanted them. They look really good on here. I definitely need, um, I loved the pink beads on here. So either I will need pink beads for this, or I will need to move the pink beads over from this and get new beads for here. But I love the pink with the ladybug. I did try the purple Muranos, but I don't love Muranos on this and they don't look great with the pink of that glass or the pink of my suitcase. So pink beads it is, we will figure it out. But in the meantime, here are my newest 2023 beads. Although from Rula Law, they are not exactly from their current collection but they are right out of the package straight from the factory. Shining love pods. All right, let's get the next piece out. I know I have more. And real quick, in case you're wondering, here are the little black pieces that come in the Pandora Rose bags straight from Pandora. So whenever I get new Pandora Rose pieces, I just literally toss them in my jewelry box. You can see. I just set them around where I have my Pandora pieces stored with the rose beads. And I don't, I honestly don't know if it makes a difference or not, but I've seen lots of other people do it. And I figure it definitely doesn't hurt anything. Man, this one doesn't want to come out of here. So FYI, that's what you're looking for. All right, so the next layer has my newest rose gold bracelet. This is the heart, heart class one, and it is my travel bracelet. So you have, if you've been on my channel for a minute, you've probably seen this video, because it's my newest one. Oh no, Sweden's upside down. How did that happen? Oh, because I wanted the horse to be upside down. Regardless, these are all pieces that I've picked up in the last year, but we have the castle, Disney castle. We have the reindeer. We have the cherry blossom, which is my, 
oh, I don't know if my, it's my current favorite, but it's one of them. And so that is the only Pandora Rose pieces I have. Most of the pieces on this bracelet are exclusives from the countries. Um, this represents Schorein Castle in Germany, where my mom and I went. This one is for the reindeer in Denmark. And this cherry blossom is to represent uh, the lily pads at Givernay in France. So if there was not an exclusive charm for one of the places we went, I did try to get a representative piece for the most important pieces. So if you want to check out the full overlook at this bracelet, I will leave that link down below. But in the meantime, that's close enough because these pieces are brand new. They have not worn at all. Although I did wear this bracelet, um, not on this bracelet, but the charms every single day for 25 days on the boat, on excursions. I figure, you know, that's the whole point of a travel bracelet. And you can see right here, Germany, for whatever reason, is the only charm that is just like, did not love it. He is showing so much wear and tear and scuff marks. I have cleaned him three times, does not matter. See Sweden, see how shiny Sweden is? Germany is not shiny. Both came from Pandora shops. So the, the rose has at least held up better than Germany. Go figure. Next is my ocean cruise charms. So these are mostly charms that I picked up on uh, Caribbean cruises. And the star of this show is the blue starfish. Those CZs are so pretty. And you can see the bale on this one. I have had him for several years. Let's see, there we go. No plating issues on either side. So there you go. I do have silicone line clips on this since it's a leather bracelet. They are the blue heart clips. I love them. I want the pink ones as well. They have, I've had these for a year maybe. I didn't have clips on this bracelet for a long time and they are fine, no issues at all. Let's look at the other one since we know that not all charms are created equal even when they're twins. And this one's also fine. And then we have just one little shell on this guy. That's Rose. He's so cute. But no issues there, even on the bale. That typically the bale, like I've showed you, the bale is usually the first to lose its plating. So, and again, when I'm on a cruise ship, I wear these guys pretty much 24 seven. I never wear my charms in the water. I never wear them in the shower, but I wear them the rest of the trip. So dinner, hiking, walking, whatever I'm doing, these guys go through it and they hold up just fine. Last but not least in the second layer is this little guy. It is my rose gold tennis bracelet. I don't know if it has a specific Pandora name, I love it. This I bought in 2018. I love how delicate it is. You can see the clasp here. Maybe, maybe you can. Why does it hate me today? There we go. No plating issues on this clasp. No plating issues on the little ends here. So overall, very happy with this guy. And I just love adding that little bit of sparkle when I'm wearing a Pandora rose gold stack. So delicate and pretty. All right, so here's the thing. I've already showed you a lot, but would you believe me when I say I still have a whole Pandora rose layer? Literally. These are just the pieces that are most recent. Here's my Pandora Rose layer. Let's see if I can show y'all without it sliding all over the place. So first one to slide 
is my cherry blossoms. Oh, I love these. So when these first came out, they were in Hong Kong and they are so pretty. I love, so these are the Muranos that match uh, the Murano on my O-ring. So I do typically, here's my O-ring. I do typically wear the O-ring and this bracelet together because the Muranos match. And I've thought about getting more of these Muranos for the O-ring, but I feel like that would be too much. O-ring just dive bombed the floor. Sorry, y'all. Tacked, tacked to the camera. But you can see I got these from Hong Kong. They came all the way in the mail, took forever. Um, of course, after I went through all of that trouble, they were eventually released in the US, but there is never any guarantee that something is going to be released in the US if it's been released in another country. So I had to have it. I love it so much. And you can see it has that big pink CZ and it has the cherry blossom ends. I just, I love it. It's so pretty. And I love, um, I think the open bangle style is my favorite, but after that, I really do like this style of bracelet. It's very easy to wear. The only problem is I don't like to stack this style of bracelet with uh, other bracelets that are not this style, the sliding bracelets. So don't worry. I just stack this one with this one. So this guy is also a Hong Kong exclusive. It is a pink leather bracelet sliding with the rose gold. It does not have the pretty ends, but close enough for government work. And on this one, I have my pink daisies with the ladybugs because like, you know, if it's got a ladybug, I've got to have it. And my sparkling dragonfly for Outlander. There's no special meaning, I just like Outlander. My mom and I watch it together. So this is a very pretty pink bracelet, but it looks, they look very pretty together. And I like that there's only one dangle. So they do not uh, compete. Next up, we only have a couple pieces left. This one still needs clips but it is the three link bangle with a rose gold clasp. And I love this bangle. I want to buy another one solely for the fact that I love it so much. It is so comfortable to wear. I still need clips on this one and I want the rose gold ones with the big like big CZs cause this is elegant as heck and I love it. So I have the sparkly clear Muranos with the rose gold hearts. And then my Disney exclusive Cinderella's carriage. It has that pretty blue in the middle. These are all new Pandora. And you can see they are, you know, they are doing just fine. They are not having any plating issues. I love it. I don't even, like I said, I don't like gold, but this uh, three link bracelet comes with the gold as well, the shine version. And I kind of want to get it and put Beauty and the Beast charms on it. Do I need an entire Beauty and the Beast themed bracelet? No, but I want it. In the meantime, my little Cinderella's carriage is pretty darn cute. We're getting close to the end. Another Hong Kong exclusive. Dun, da, da, da. I do, this is the only rose gold snake chain I have. I love it. I do like it with just these pieces. It's very pretty, but I do think I'm going to eventually add a whole bracelet worth of charms to this. I just haven't found any that I would like to compare it um, to at right now or go with it, be companions to complement it. That's the word I'm looking for. And since I am still working on 
this guy with most of my rose gold pieces. I'm not super worried about it. This was the bracelet I was thinking those purple Muranos might look nice on. They are purple as opposed to pink, but this is a darker pink and it would give it a little more color. So it does have like right up in here, some kind of lilac -y kind of colors. So we'll see, but I thought about adding the two purple Muranos right in between these clips. Last but not least, <laughs> my only essence, Pandora. It is all rose gold. It has Mickey and Minnie on it. And my little, uh, I think it's compassion heartbeat. I love this heartbeat. I'm not even a big Mickey and Minnie fan, but I just thought it was so cute with Mickey and Minnie and a little love. And I wear this one with my Cinderella themed carriage bracelet and usually my thin tennis bracelet and I just love how they stack together. Come on, you want to work? So no, no one will look at me. There we go. Haven't had any problems with this one either. No plating issues. I just like it. Go figure. All right, and that is my entire Pandora Rose collection. Overall, I love it. You can tell I love it. I have a lot of it. <laughs> and I would definitely recommend buying it as long as it is the new formula or you are okay with the old formula. I hope you liked this overview. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.